Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys some products from Glow Skin Beauty. Um, they're going to be some makeup products, not skincare. I am an esthetician and I have worked with their chemical peels and some of their skincare products on the skin side and I love, love their products. So when I met with a rep here in Maryland and she was able to give me a little box um, of their beauty products, their beauty line, I was super ecstatic, mainly because I have been looking for so long for a skincare, not skincare line, but a makeup line that would be good for um, in the treatment room, like after treatments are done, that could be worn after any kind of procedures that you're able to wear makeup afterwards um, in the aesthetic side. And also, I've been wanting to look for something that will I can use every day, like not on my, well, not only on myself, but on clients as well. I also do makeup, so being that said, <laughs> I really need some products that are good for the skin, have good skincare ingredients in the makeup product that is just really good for feeding the skin its nutrients. Also, I'm looking for something that is paraben-free, soy-free. Um, for the most part, I think most of this line is soy free. I think they might have one ingredient or one product in the makeup side that's got soy in it. Uh, cruelty free, did I say cruelty free? <laughs> I can't remember. Cool, okay, cruelty free, paraben free, talc free. Um, that's a mineral makeup so that you can, um, it, it would protect your, cell, your skin from the sun and it's just got a really good light coverage. So I played with all these products today. I'm actually gonna test them, see how they wear throughout the day and then check back in in about five to six hours um, at the least. So maybe even longer if it will last longer. Uh, the problem I'm coming across with a, with a lot of mineral makeup is that it, it looks patchy on the skin or it um, shifts and moves or it just doesn't cover well or it feels super greasy. I just, I haven't found one that I really love. So like out of the, um, medical side of things like out of the professional lines now i can say i've been using a the tarte foundation that they have that there's like their mineral foundation that's really good i really like that product a lot but i'm looking for more i want like powders i want like um lip products i want i just want like a whole range to choose from from one line that i can believe in that i can work with in in like this um in the spa so I'm testing these products out today for myself and for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and get to this video, get through a talk through of it. And um, if you have any questions, put them in the box down below. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, guys. I, uh, I'm trying to do a little bit better with uploading to this channel and making it a little bit better feed for you guys. I want to do more reviews. I don't want it to just be about makeup like my last channel, which I deleted now because I just, I decided I want skincare and makeup. I know there's a lot of uh, YouTubers out there that just do either skincare or just makeup, but I feel like I'm a jack of all trades. I really like both equally. And so I want to bring that to my channel. That's why I revamped everything and started everything from scratch. Now, before my dog rudely interrupts me with a bunch of barking because he heard some noise, I'm going to get to this video. So I'm going to start off with my Glow Skin Beauty Calming Flower Mist. I've been using this for, oh my gosh, I want to say for like five or six, probably five months now because I'm not rigorous with it. Like I don't use it every day because I, I forget things sometimes, but most days I do use this. It has a little tiny bit left, just enough for me to be actually able to use it in the video before I have to... Um, either get some more or find whatever I want to try next. I know underneath other foundations that I have tried, I, um, I have to be particular because sometimes I put this on and then I'll wear like, I noticed that the days that I use this and I put my makeup on, it tends to make my face a little bit greasier. So I'm trying this today with the products because I want to see if they, you know, go together. The next thing I'm going to use is the Alpha Lipoic Anti-Aging Serum. And this is what it looks like right here in the bottle. This one costs about six, 26 and 9 dollars at the vitamin shop i can't remember but i absolutely love this in my routine especially during the daytime it just smooths exfoliates tones the skin and actually helps to um i believe it does water binding as well just like hyaluronic acid does so um i really love this product and it's so affordable that i always keep this in my stash and um i'm like ee! <laughs> just shaking it everywhere <laughs> anyways i love this product i actually take the vitamins too so they can work from the inside out um they're just like a little pill 
form that you can buy as well at the Vitamin Shop. And then I am going to go ahead and put on what I use every day. I absolutely love this. Um, this SPF. I'm between two for my top favorites. This is one of them and then the other one is going to be by um, Elta MD. They have a my, my second favorite SPF for my face. This one is a Prevention Plus Daily Hydrating Moisturizer 30 SPF. This is by Image Skincare. I use it all the time. Love it. I'm going to put a little bit on my face now and my routine so that it can start soaking in. I just put a little pea sized, no not pea sized, probably about three pea sized amounts on my hand to press it all into my skin everywhere. I press it because I don't want it to, I don't want to wipe it off areas. I want it to actually work. And I love that this is a moisturizer and SPF in one. It has all the right ingredients, which is zinc, titanium, 9% or higher. And it also um, is really good for people with rosacea and um, very sensitive skins. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Glow Skin Beauty Lip Revival. It says it hydrates and promotes, promotes the look of fuller lips. Now, I can say I've been using this for quite a while, and I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's a lip product. I haven't seen any major difference in my lip as far as fullness. I don't see any major difference um, altogether on my lips, to be honest. But I use so many lip products, so I don't know if I'd be able to tell um, if there was going to be a huge difference. Nothing stands out, though. Now we're going to break out the big bad boy. So in this box it says it has a pressed base. Achieve a flawless finish with our top selling award winning pressed foundation. They have an oil free camouflage which is their concealer for face. And it says face but I'm sure under eyes as well. Um, then it has a cream stay shadow stick. Long wear dimensional hues to prime, shadow, and define. I'm really excited to try this product, the shadow stick, because I just noticed that every time I use any kind of shadow stick it they, they transfer, they crease, they just, they don't do so well for me. I'm not, I haven't found one that I like at all, to be honest. So I'm curious to try this one because I'm always down for trying things. And um, it has a tinted primer with SPF 30, luminous liquid foundation with SPF 18, and it's got light diffusing diamond powder, creates a soft luminous complexion that's inside that foundation. They have a luminous setting powder, which is to set and extend your foundation with, soft, with a freaking soft focus effect. Like, if I could just talk, I'm trying to like do it fast because I gotta go paint and do errands and stuff, but just breathe. I gotta breathe. <laughs> and then it has a suede matte crayon, lip crayon. It's a long wear matte lip color with velvety smooth finish. So I'm gonna play around with all these products. I'm actually probably gonna try all the products because they're all products I um, would like to use. And then I really like the fact that they even have a little chubby pencil sharpener in here. I have quite a few pen pencil sharp liner sharpeners, but I can always use more because I can't tell you how many times that I have a little area that I keep them, but like they get dispersed throughout routines and never find it back. Yeah. So first we're going to do the tinted primer. Um, prior to foundation, apply with clean fingertips or foundation brush to smooth and even the complexion can be worn alone for a sheer radiance. So let's take a look at this by itself. I think I got you in too far. Like I want you guys to see my wrinkly ass forehead. Um, so let's just let's play with this. Everything is brand new. I've not tested it yet. I'm not going out anywhere today. That's why I don't look any kind of amazing by no means, but the color's nice. She picked out some good colors for me for the most part. I might have to work a little bit with them, but that's what it looks like. Now for my primer, I don't put primer all over my face. I only put it in areas I have issues. So it's like usually in here, or I have larger pores here, and then up my forehead here, just because I want my wrinkles to be smoother and my makeup to stay longer there. Using the flat top kabuki brush or your fingers applied to the face, blending lightly down the neck. This actually has 10% titanium dioxide in it, which is awesome. Really awesome. That is one thing that's great. I'm trying to find a mineral line that I can wear that's cruelty free, that has um, mineral ingredients to protect your face from the sun, that has ingredients in it, skincare ingredients in it that nourish your skin and balance it. That's what this line offers, and so I'm really, really praying that this works out. Oh, it's very runny, as you can see. 
and usually I pour it on the back of my hand. I don't know why I did it though. That's like, I don't know anymore. It's very luminous. I like that. I like a little bit, I think, well, this is what I'm doing errands today. So like, this is what I kind of like if there's something a little sheer because I can build it. Well, it's a thing buildable. I'll probably have to build it in a couple areas. Like I have like this little irritation down here, my little friend that's joined us today. I feel like it looks wet on my face. Like I can't see how my face looks like very wet. Yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. Especially because I get oily right in this area and I have allergies and I rub it off on my nose all the time. We'll see. I usually only use concealers underneath my eye area and I don't really use them for coverage as much as I use it for highlighting and for um, just highlighting and brightening areas of my face like under my eye. I like to use it for my hollows to brighten it so it makes it look a little less hollow and around areas that have darkness. So I'm I'm just going to use this one here. It's not going to, I'm sorry guys, it's not going to show any concealing as far as like major issues because I don't feel like I have any really, really bad issues at the moment. So it says here, this is the oil, oil free camouflage. This one's in the color natural, which the foundation was in the color natural <laughs> and the, um, the primer was in light. Yeah, it's not as bright as I'd like it. So this is going to look super natural. This one has a nice little peachy color. So if you do have dark circles, this would be a nice color for covering those. Did a great job so far at concealing all the veins on my lid, which is nice. There you go. So you have this side and then you have that side. It did really nice at brightening the whole area. <laughs> Look, it even looks like so clear and this is all like rawr, rawr. Usually I use like a pressed powder all over the face and then I'll use or a, a, a colored loose powder all over the face and then um, and then I'll use a loose for sure light colored powder under my eyes for like a slight baking effect. I'm going to use the luminous one and then I'm going to press the other one over my whole entire face just to see how it goes for coverage so I can test both products out today. Okay, so that went on like very finely mil like milled. Um, it went on so smoothly that like usually when you put on and you're like boop, 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 it'll like, you'll see powder like just stick in and like, like not sticking, but like setting everywhere so that it could kind of bake. This one here just seems to like absorb into like, I put a bunch on in my eye. I'm scared to put too much. I don't want to get like a white cast, but let's test it. Um, I'm used to having, like being able to see it. As you can see, I'm not seeing it. Like I'm putting a lot in the lid and like, and it's like, and it's not, it's like it's just absorbing into my skin. Now I'm going to take the pressed base. This one's in golden medium, which every time I hear golden anything on my face because it's so light, it makes me a little nervous. So let's see how this goes. So this is what the color looks like up close, which it looks not as golden as I thought. It's actually kind of yellow looking in person. It looks a little yellow. I don't know if it's picking up here for you guys. And I'm just going to press that all over the rest of this area that still looks wet. So a little nervous. Okay, I like the color. There is quite a bit of like kickback on this little guy whenever I put my brush in there. I got powder all in my hair. Now this powder has like a very matte look to it, a, like a natural matte. I really like that. Um, I do normally tend to wear let me see, I gotta get this. I normally tend to wear um, foundations that are super matte or on the matte side, and then I like to set them with a luminous type powder. So I'm kind of doing something backwards here. That's another thing that I'm not sure about. But, um, you know, everything, everybody has their own preference. This might be something that works for you. So that's it in the skin area. I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera, do my bronzer, my blush, just normal ones that I normally use, and um, get most of my eyes down, and then I'm gonna come back in and use the shadow stick and do the lip. So, 
I'll be back. Okay guys, so I have went ahead and did my brows. I did just a light eye makeup for the day. Uh, I did some mascara. I did my bronzer, my highlighter, um, my eyeshadows. Everything is done that I would need to done other than the last couple steps of this whole situation. I will list all the other things in the box down below for you guys if you're interested in what I used. Uh, as far as this tutorial goes, I'm just going to keep with the products that I'm featuring. So I got everything on. Everything seems to have played nicely on the skin. I feel like sometimes some foundations, especially like really like wet, luminous ones will like look like they rub off some when you put your bronzers and stuff on. I did not have that problem. I'm really digging everything so far and how everything looks. I did not put any blush on today because I really wanted to see how it wore in those areas. And that's just like a telltale area for me. So let's go ahead and play with the little eye crayon. So where is it? There it is. So this here is the Glow Skin Beauty Cream Stay Shadow Stick. I'll be the judge of the stay. This is what it looks like. This one's in the color Toast. It is a very, very pretty, pretty, uh, like a toasty, ambery color. Not ambery, maybe? Yeah, like an amber or it's got a little taupe in there as well. I'm just going to place that right on the main part of the lid to see how it wears. I already see some creasing, so I already know like the concealer with whatever I set it with before did not work so well. I usually don't have that issue. This shade, this color is really pretty. It's perfect for fall. I wonder if this is like their fall color. I don't recall what she said, the rep said. Let me bring you in closer so you can see it. It looks like that. Real close. It's just a very neutral, pretty Toby shimmer. Oh guys, speaking of shimmer, I ordered the Pat McGrath palette, one of her palettes the other day, because they're supposed to be like the shimmeriest of the shimmer. And I am so excited. I've been wanting one of these palettes for so long and they're so expensive that I was like, no, no, no. And then I got a discount code and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. This is what that color looks like up close. I'm using you in even more if I can. Nope, I can't. So there you go. And we'll see how that goes throughout the day as far as creasiness and stuff. And then we're going to try on the lip. Okay. So the lip color is also, it's a soft matte, it looks like. It says matte. Yeah, a suede matte crayon. And this one is in the color Demure. Demure? Demure? really pretty color again another color that would be pretty for fall now i didn't show you on the eye crayon it like scrolls up and down and then i guess you can use that sharpener with it it did scroll up and down it did a minute ago what happened oh wrong one <laughs> i'm an idiot it goes right here there you go and you actually get quite a bit of product in there it goes all the way up and the crayon, I guess this is the one you can sharpen, I'm assuming, because it's not like scrolling in any way, shape, or form. But it seems like it's going to be a really pretty berry color. Let's see. Ooh, I love that smell. You know what it smells like? The Revlon crayons that I used to love so much. I think I still have some because I was so obsessed. Mine are so old. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Oh, but it has that little soft minty smell in there. I love it. Feels really creamy. I really like the feel on the lip. So I'm gonna test these out, see how they go throughout the day, and I will do a check back like in quite a few hours. Usually I try to give a good five hours before I review a product like this because um, I feel like the average day, you want five to eight hours of wear at least. Um, since these, let's see, the Luminous Liquid Foundation doesn't really say long wear on it. Um, so I usually can get a good five hours of wear. If I can get a good five to eight hours of wear out of a something that says nothing about, or something that doesn't say anything about long wear, then I'm happy with it. So we'll see how this goes, especially with like the creasing and all that stuff. Flashback, I'll see if it does any of those and be playing around. And I'll check back in a little bit. 
I put it on around two, like a little bit before, and it is now eight o'clock. And let's see how this all wore. Now, looking at the foundation, being in thoughts that this is a mineral foundation, not a long wear foundation, I'm gonna say right now I'm pretty impressed because usually by now, I mean, I can see where the oils are starting to peek through on my skin to where um, I would probably want to take it off eventually. Like I could see it going down, starting right around now, but the foundation has held up really freaking well. It looks super dewy on the skin and don't mind here. I got some of the lip product because I had fajitas for dinner. So mm, they were so good, but um, I can feel like I'm trying to see if I touch it, if you can see my fingerprint. Surprisingly, no. Okay, so usually when I have, and let me zoom you guys in so you can see up close. When I have a foundation on, usually that feels like looks kind of this dewy and wet on the skin, usually if I press my finger on it, it will leave a fingerprint. I'm not getting that with this foundation. I really like that, A. B, usually when it's this dewy, it's already started separating pretty bad around this area of my nose. It's not done that. Now I can see where it's starting to, you can see right in here, where it's starting to gather. And you can see where it's starting to oily up, where <laughs> oily up, get greasy, whatever you want to call it. And that makes me want to like take a tissue and just kind of blot, which I do that with a lot of foundations. Uh, what thing I do like about it is it's not separating in this area. And like my coverage on that breakout is still there. Like it's still like covering. I am highly impressed because usually when I have like this dewiness on the skin, it usually looks all separated after about six hours, usually after about four or five hours, and it's not doing that. Now the lip product, the lip product actually was on my entire lip, still like a stain up until I ate dinner. So I was really impressed with that as well. It doesn't feel like I have a product on my lip, but it does feel a tad dry. Um, the foundation, I don't feel like I have foundation on. Now I did keep looking in the camera and things like that to see how it was like laying with that powder on top. I truly like the pressed powder situation. I feel like that that might help that foundation a lot. Now the, um, the translucent one, um, a little on the fence about, it could be because I'm just not a big fan as a makeup artist of those types of powders because of the, the problems that you can have with flashback if you don't dust it off good enough. But it's also because it, those powders usually on darker skin tones look a little ashy. And I feel like looking at myself in the, um, in my camera viewfinder and stuff and in person that I kind of feel a tad ashy in those areas that I put that product. So I, I would say for myself, that'd be a pass. It's a nice option to have. And I did check it with a flashback for the flashback on my camera with flash and it didn't have any of that. So I was really pleased with that. I'll put the picture right here for you guys to see that. Um, and the different, actually, no, in the end, I'll put all the different pictures that I took, whether it had a flashback or not. Um, it didn't have that, so that was nice to know. Now, one thing I am truly impressed with is the freaking crayon for my eye. Like, usually with eye crayons, it will separate, fade, not look as good throughout the day, or, you know, just not go well. This one here is still staying strong. I mean, it's faded just a tad, but after eight hours, I mean, I mean, six hours, like, I am really impressed. It's not, and it's not like creased up in my, creased, <laughs> it's not creased up in my, um, cracks in my eye or anything like that. Now the concealer part, and it could be because I set it with that one translucent powder. It has, um, gathered just the finest in my fine lines around my eyes, but it's not bad by no means either. So I am really really excited that I found a line that I can recommend to clients, especially clients that are going through healing processes in the skin um, or somebody who just wants to wear really good like products on their skin that have good ingredients in them. So I am super excited about it. I truly am. And there's nothing really, I've compared like so many mineral foundations and so many mineral products and have just like, <clears throat> on so many of them, and I mean a lot of big name companies too, that they just don't hold up or they are, um, they're just not made with ingredients that would be good for healing skin. And 
as an esthetician and a makeup artist, I kind of want that. I want my cake and I want to eat it too. So I just like, I feel like this is a really good balance and I can't wait to try some more products in their line and kind of test them out as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I'm going to go finish having a beer with my husband and I, um, just want to say if you have any questions or anything like that, put them in the, like put them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. If you've tried this line and there's certain products that you love or that if, if there's products that you haven't tried and you want me to pick up and review, let me know and I will do that for you. And yeah, hopefully this will help you guys out and help you to find if not a, a, a product to try, then um, something, you know, new to, to check out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. And like I said, Anything about this product, well, all things I used today are going to be down below, and um, that covers everything, guys. So I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to go and enjoy my weekend, and yeah, until next time, bye.